think what's great about Jody is, you know, she's strong and she's uh, complex and all of those things. She's also incredibly vulnerable and has tremendous sadness and pain. And um, I think she's just a very honest, whole character. And sometimes we don't get to see that that often for women. It first came across the table and I was didn't know what to think. I didn't know what being in a video game meant. It's like, oh, well, you just do some voiceover. Um, but the same, you know, I looked at the material, beautiful, interesting script, incredible female protagonist. And then I played Heavy Rain and sat down with David and was just moved by David's work and his intention with what he wanted to do with Beyond. And it was just knowing I'd get the opportunity to work with Willem and something so wildly new and different. It was kind of a no-brainer, really. One of the things I did feel about friends or other, you know, filmmaker friends or actors was like, their, what is their response going to be? And everybody is so intrigued, you know, especially like young filmmaker friends of mine, just so intrigued by the idea of this medium being used for proper narrative storytelling. And just so intrigued, intrigued about David, his process, how the hell do you write a 2,000 page script? How the heck does that work? How do you perform that? What is that like? Or, you know, friends who've never done motion capture. And I was thrilled to share because I had just gone on this like crazy, wild, difficult, challenging, but very, very fulfilling ride. And I would say to most people like, like totally, you know, totally do it and go for it. Just brace yourself. It's, <laughs> it's a lot of work. Can you tell us a little bit about what uh, kind of grabbed your interest about the character of, of Nathan? Um, you know, it's always a combination of things, but I like very much uh, really the, the arc of what happens to him. And uh, he changes. It, it covers 15 years of his life and Jody's life. I knew video games were very important, but I, don't, I didn't play them. I wasn't aware of them. I thought, really? Um, I've never done this, what is it? I started to look at the materials. The materials looked really good, and then I looked at uh, some of David Cage's uh, uh, previous work, and I thought, this is interesting. Then I read the script, and I said, then I treated it just as if it were uh, any film project. I knew Ellen was the principal character, and I thought that was a good sign, not just because Ellen's very talented, she, I thought it was a smart choice, and in, seeing, in reading the script, I could see it much better. I could see the whole story much better when I had Ellen pictured in it. So it was uh, definitely, there's always a leap of faith. This wasn't something I had done before, but uh, I, had, I had no reservations, really. I'm very excited for this to come out because I'm, I'm, as involved as I am in it, um, I'm just a little participant in this huge thing, this huge process. So, for example, tonight I'm going to see it projected, and I'm very excited. And uh, I'm anticipating, because I've seen little snippets, I'm anticipating that I'm going to be shouting to all my friends <laughs> that I did this video game and they better check it out. I really. In that sense, I can be a real cheerleader. <laughs>
the goal for us is really to uh, to share you know our happiness with uh, with the team, with the actors, but most of all with the fans, and uh, really talk about the game and, and and you know share the passion we have for this experience we have created for three years now. The most important thing for me was really to find actors um, who would be perfect in the role. I, I had written this this parts. And it was so important. Ellen's part was absolutely key. I needed to find an actress who would feel at the same time like she has this energy inside and this will to fight. And at the same time would feel more fragile and vulnerable in many ways. And I, and I knew that Ellen could do it. And also there were many challenges in the part. She, she had to be this character through 15 years of her life and really be a convincing young teenager, a convincing young adult convincing, you know, woman and someone who would be really grounded in reality who would look real and not look like another video game character. And for me, it, it was an obvious choice. And same thing for Willem. I was really looking for someone who could be this kind of figurehead uh, for, um, you know, um, for, for, for Jodie and be like a father, uh, father to her and have this presence, this ability to be uh, nice to her and, and, and protect her and, and, and maybe have more than all this. And yeah, it was an obvious choice for me. It was very clear from the start. I think in the coming years we will see a lot of technical evolutions and we will maybe finally achieve photorealism at some point. But I, I, this is not what I'm the most exciting about. I, I would really like to see meaning uh, arriving finally in video games and, and seeing more and more games having something to say and not just being, you know, fun or adrenaline or, or this kind of experiences. I would really like to see meaning arriving. For me, w what I've seen these guys do in this game is something I've never seen in a video game before. And um, they really gave a heart and soul to their characters in a very, very unique way. So they made them more than just pixels moving in the program. They made them real living and breathing characters. I'm also glad because we managed to develop the technology that will allow this talent to come across from set to the game. And um, I think what, what I was the most surprised with when, when I, I saw the first shots in the game was what we could get through the eyes uh, of the actors. Because, you know, in the past, many actors in games looked like dead fish because their eyes were just dead. And in this case, there are many, many, many moments where, for example, you just look at, at Ellen and she, she's just listening to someone talking. You just look into her eyes and you, you, you can tell what she thinks and how she feels. And um, that's only possible because she delivered this great performance on set, of course, but also because now the technology has get to a level where this is now possible. Not very luxurious, but quiet. Do you hear me? I give up. Oh. 
Uh, we got nothing left to eat. <laughs> Gotta do something about it. You wanna see how things work around here? Sure. But you know, at Quantic Dream, it's always my face that you see, it's always my voice that you hear. On this project, we, we also heard, and that was an immense pleasure, the voices of, of, of these very incredible, incredible, amazing actors. But the game is not done by, by me alone. I had the easy part, which was just to have an idea. But all the hard work has been done by other amazing people. And these people, they are my, my team. Please uh, have a warm welcome for the team at Quantic Dream.